In today's video, we're going to look at this Aquara FP1. This thing feels really solid. It is not waterproof though, or at least I don't think it's waterproof because as you can see, there's a bunch of holes down here. It comes in a small box just like this. USB power. There's no adapter, but you can use any standard USB adapter. You can open it, twist it, rotate it, however you choose. So there's plenty of ways to mount it. It's also magnetic base. Well, this thing is metal base, I should say. So it should clamp onto any magnet surface. Oops, I meant there's the magnet in there after all. So it will clamp onto any metal surface. Very nice. It is relatively small. Here it is compared to a triple A battery. And just for fun, here's a Lego mini thick. So you can see that it's pretty small. I wish it was flatter, but it is what it is. And that's what you get. For whatever reason, this is not sold anywhere in the United States. I don't know why. So I got this off from AliExpress for about 50 bucks. And I waited about maybe a month just to get it to the United States. There's no way you can get it any faster one day via Amazon Express, via Amazon delivery. So what is this thing again? This is a motion sensor, presence sensor. Yeah, this is a presence sensor I meant. With a regular motion sensor, what happens is that if you stay still, then the machine will think you're not there anymore. So you have to be always in motion for a regular motion sensor to detect motion, to detect if someone is actually there. For example, if you're sitting still eating dinner and you happen to program the motion sensor to turn off when there's no motion, then guess what? You're eating dinner and you're not moving a lot, then the lights will turn off. This is... Uh, this is really sweet because it's always radiating RF, radio frequency. And even with the slightest movement, like breathing, for instance, it would know someone is there. There's no way, there's no way you can trick it into not knowing that you're not there. So most people are using it as a presence sensor. But in this video, we're not going to use that at all. We're going to use it for porch pirates. That's right. I hate Porsche Pirates. I hate losing my stuff. It hasn't happened yet, but I know it will because I live in the hood. I live in a very bad neighborhood. One of the things that's really nice about this is that it acts as a sonar. But instead of radiating sound and then waiting for the sound to bounce back, this thing is radiating radio frequency. And guess what? You can actually use it to know when somebody is approaching or when somebody is walking away. And that is how we're going to use it as a porch pirate's deterrent. I know when somebody is walking to my door even before they touch the door. Previously, I showed you how to use a uh, sonar sensor that's installed on top of the uh, ceiling, but I know not everybody has a house or a ceiling roof for you to install this sonar light as previously seen in the other video. So this is how I mount mine. Can you see it? Can you guess which one it is? Yeah, I spray painted mine with Rust-Oleum and it's black so it doesn't stick out hideously. This is a uh, junction box that just happens to have a bunch of wires going to it from the basement. So all I need is just two wires. One is black for ground, one is red for five volts DC. So instead of using this huge USB adapter, I cut it and I only use two wires that's within the USB. It's pretty slick, right? Next, as you know, I can turn and twist it any way I want so that it's aiming towards the entrance of my front door. In order to reach my front door, you have to walk a flight of stairs. 
So mine is angled slightly downward towards the uh, street level. All right, no more talk. Let's get this thing into Home Assistant. This thing uses Zigbee protocol. So in my hub, the Home Assistant hub, I'm using Zigbee to MQTT. Go into the left side, click on Zigbee to MQTT. Wait for the menu to open up and then permit join all devices. That means it's in pair mode right now. So on your uh, Acquira FP1, in the back of it, there's a button. Go ahead and hold it down for about three seconds. And then it should be added into the Zigbee to MQTT menu. You can click on the pencil button to rename it whatever you want. Now let's go back into settings. Integrations and then MQTT. Here you can see all of the MQTT, including the device that we just added. And this is a setting that I use. There's a bunch of entities as you can see, but we're only interested in this entity, which is whether somebody is approaching or not. Let's go into automation. Here you can see that I only set it to be detecting approaching. And when somebody is approaching, I get an alert via my ring keypad. As you know, the ring keypad makes a bunch of tones and I set the tone to make this sound. So what do you think? It's pretty easy, right? Once somebody is approaching the door, I get an alert instantly. I don't know if you noticed, but there's the Amcrest 410 as well, the video doorbell. So they don't even have to touch the video doorbell. Once somebody is approaching, the camera snaps a photo, sends it to my telegram, as you can see in this whole automation. Pretty slick. All right, hopefully this video helps you and give you some ideas on how to implement your ways of detecting humans or detecting porch pirates, in my case. I feel like my whole channel is now dedicated to detecting porch pirates. I don't know. But please let me know in the comment section how you're going to use it. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel. And thanks for watching.